Okay, welcome to my new series. We're calling this Build and Banter. And basically what we're going to do, we're just going to kind of relax in the daisy and build us a little base right here. We are in North Livonia, not far from Sidnik, I believe. We've got a nice little pond here. We already got a fire going. This little shed right here, I've been storing some loot in. So we're just going to relax. We're going to build uh, we're going to talk about some different things, just get to know each other better. And the first episode, the topic that I'm going to choose is, I was talking to a friend about a Denzel Washington movie, and I said, you know what, I like he's one of my favorite actors. I like a lot of his movies. So I am going to rank from 10 to 1 my favorite top 10 Denzel Washington movies. Now, there is no wrong or right answer, you know. This is my opinion. I'm very curious. Uh, what do you think? Would you rank them differently? Do you like Denzel Washington movies? Now, I know that I have not seen all of them, but I've seen most of them. So I am going to rank them as we start and build. And I'm going to go uh, number 10, and then we'll work our way up to one. All right, so number 10, The Equalizer. This is the first Equalizer movie that I watched. Um, I think he's done three now. And um, the first one, he's kind of like a retired some kind of special forces or CIA or something like that. And he runs into a young girl that's got in trouble with some people and he goes to uh, help her out and they think he's a joke and they soon realize that he is not a joke. And it's really good. Uh, like I said, they're, they're all pretty good. I think the first one is the one that I like the best. All right, let me pull up. I have my list on my phone. Number nine, The Bone Collector. Okay, this is another one where... He's, I don't think he's actually a police officer, but he works for the police, and he or he used to be a police officer, right? And then he had an accident, so he's not really an active police officer anymore or detective, and he um, is helping to solve crimes. And there is a serial killer, and the serial killer's calling card is to leave um, pieces of bones to of his victims, and that's why he's called the Bone Collector. You know what? I'm missing one stick. I have a sharpened stick over here that I was using to cook fish with. Can I use that? Or will sharpen stick work on improvised shelter? Let's see. No, it won't. So I'm going to have to go get a stick. All right. So the bone collector. Have you seen that? Um, it is interesting. I think it's New York. But uh, it's got a, a little a good twist to the end. So make sure you watch it to the end. You'll see a good twist. All right, let's see. Can I cut? Here's a little one right here, right? Let's get one more stick from this thing. All right, put our axe up. And that, look at, listen, to, look at this. This is a great place. Got all these trees that we can build with. Look at that scenery right there. Let me go to first person. See that? Isn't that nice? That's where we're going to build our home and we're going to banter, build and banter. Okay, let me look. What did I just do? The Bone Collector is number nine. Number eight is Fallen. Fallen is uh, Denzel Washington and John Goodman. They both play uh, police detectives, and they're kind of get caught up in this one case where it's got some interesting kind of supernatural type things to it. Um, and th it definitely has a twist at the end, so... Watch it all the way through the end, uh, and it's it's really good. Um, oh, it worked. I've had it not work sometimes, and this time we worked. All right, so here's our little shelter that holds 100 items. Uh, we can put some stuff here. We can fish as we build our thing right there. All right, so the Fallen. Check it out. That was going to be my number eight. Number seven. The Book of Eli. Well, first of all, The Book of Eli is a post-apocalypse movie, so I'm automatically going to like The Book of Eli. Um, it is, uh, Denzel Washington is like the hero or the, you know, protagonist, not protagonist, the, what is it? Now I forgot what it's called. But he's the good guy, and I think Gary Aldman is the bad guy, and the female lead is Mina Kunis. And, um... It goes through a post-apocalypse world, and of course, you know, people don't get along and they fight. Okay, um, there is one scene uh, in the Book of Eli. Watch, I think it's in the middle of the movie. There's a house by itself, 
Uh, and I'm not. I'm gonna try not to give spoiler alerts in case any of you have not seen these movies. But there's a house kind of up by itself. That is a very interesting scene toward the middle of the movie. All right, that is the book of Eli, and that is my number seven. Number six is called Flight, like an airplane flight, because Denzel Washington character plays a you know a, air, a commercial airline pilot, and uh, he's been doing it for quite a long time. And he's um, has a problem with drugs and alcohol. And then on this one flight at the beginning of the movie, uh, he has to make an emergency landing. And then, and that's just what kicks off the movie. The whole movie is really about him and his struggles. And then, did he save lives? Did he cause? Did his uh, addictions cause the plane to crash? And it's very interesting. Definitely not made for kids. So only watch that one you know, with adults. Okay, we're gonna build our little flagpole here. That way we can claim this territory and I gotta get a sledgehammer and I believe I've already got one in here because I've been collecting some stuff. Uh, yep, here's a sledgehammer. All right, we are going to see, can I build this? Let me look, can I build my flag? It says build base. Days never finish. All right, working on the railroad here. Okay, did I do it? Is it over? Oh, I got to get six giant logs and 32 stones. Yikes. Uh, you know what? There's rocks right there, so we'll go get some stones. All right, well, I go get some stones. We're going to look at um, number... All right, we're, that's already... Yeah. We did 10, 9, 8, 7, flight 6, number 5 remember the titans this is the football movie it's pretty old he is a football coach i believe in virginia and he uh, is tasked to be the head football coach in a kind of a conservative town that's never had a black football coach before and you know things are uh, going to be complicated when you first do something that people are not used to the actual head coach got put down to be i believe the defensive coordinator uh so it's all about not just the coaches and the community learning but the kids learning to play oh because i believe the schools were integrated for the first time with black and white and that's only one stone do i have to do big stones or small stones for this let's go see if it's big stones or small ones i can't remember And I got to get more poles too. All right, here's a big, large stone. Yeah, my goodness, that's going to take forever. All right, so remember the Titans? Very good movie. It's got some um, pretty few big names that you would recognize when they are very young, like uh, Ryan Gosling. He looked like he was like a teenager in this. And uh, he was in the Remember the Titans, and that's going to be my number five. So if I just keep hammering away here, I think the stones will... Where's it at? Did I stop? Problem with this is I don't know how long the sledgehammer will last. And let's see, what is it? It's pristine, so that's good. Well, where's the stones at? Keep hammering away. Let's see, did I give up too quick? There it is. I just wasn't swinging long enough. Oh my gosh, how many swings did it take to get one stone? Like one, two, three, four, six? Is it six, six swings? Hmm. Yeah, that's going to take uh, a lot of uh, collecting all these stones. All right, I'm going to go put these stones back on the flagpole. Remember the Titans is number five. Number four, John Q. Now this I watched um, a few days ago again because uh, whenever it comes on, if I'm just flipping channels, I'll just leave it on there and I'll watch this one. So he's just a regular guy in this one. And he, you know, doesn't have a lot of money, just a regular worker. And his uh, son gets sick. And I think he needs a heart transplant, I believe is what it is. And 
his just like most insurances, his insurance sucks and he can't afford to pay for it, so he can't get the operation. They try to, you know, go about other means, getting on a donor list and everything. But if you've ever researched or, you know, read about donor lists, you know, you get on the list, but that doesn't guarantee you'll get it in time. So things are not working out. So what his character, John Q, what he decides to do is take matters into his own hands. So he goes to the hospital uh, armed with a gun, and then that's where the story really kicks off. So that is called John Q. All right, how many stones did I get? You can only carry so many stones, though, because they are pretty large. I think I got room for another one. All right, let's see, where am I at here? All right, we're moving right along. Number four was John Q. My number three, it's going to be Deja Vu. And the funniest thing is that this was on yesterday. So I have, um, I used to have Hulu, but then I moved to the YouTube TV, the live TV, uh, which you get you, you know, local channels and a lot of other channels. And, uh, you know, it has older movies and stuff. And this John Q came up, I mean, not John Q, um, Deja Vu came yesterday and we watched it again, even though we've seen it several times. But basically this is Denzel Washington with Val Kilmer and um, Val Kilmer works for like a special, special government agency, uh, kind of a secret project. And Denzel Washington is an ATF agency and it's based in New Orleans and they had to, um, uh, go research, you know, uh, an explosion. And then when, you know, Denzel Washington's character gets together with Val Kilmer and the special units, it this this investigation leads to a interesting twist that the government's working on. Kind of got a little bit of a sci-fi element to it, but it is called Deja Vu, Deja Vu. So I highly recommend watching Deja Vu. All right, so there's only two last of my top 10. And I'm going to get to that. What I'm going to do right here. Oh, I want to set my sledgehammer down for a minute. I just heard a deer. You hear that deer? We might have to go hunting deer. I'm tired. I'm tired of hammering on rocks. I'll do that in a minute. Let's go cut a tree down. We're going to need four logs. That's what it is. Okay. Cutting tree down, and we're going to number two. Now, number two and number one, these easily could have, um, you know, swapped out. They're both really good. But my number two is Crimson Tide. Now, Crimson Tide is a wartime, or a war, not wartime, a war submarine movie. It has Denzel Washington and Gene Hackman. Gene Hackman is like the... Um, commander of the boat and uh Denzel Washington is like the first officer and what happens is they get sent out their own um, you know to sea and uh there's something going on with Russia and someone gets a hold of where they're gonna launch nuclear weapons and the submarine that they're on is a nuclear submarine so when they hear that uh, Russia might, you know, launch the, the, that their submarine is the only defense to try to get against this. The problem is they keep losing communications. So it's unclear of what's really going and they have to act, you know, in order to try to prevent Russia from doing this or whoever is the one that's about to launch the missiles. And then since the communication is not coming through from command, they're really kind of left on their own trying to figure out what to do. And that's a pretty big decision. Decide to launch a nuclear missile is a pretty big decision. So it's very good, very well acted. It has a Vigo Mortensen in it as well. I'm going to go take this log and smack that deer in the head. All right. So that is my number two, Crimson Tide. All right. We're just going to sit right here. Look at the scenery, and I'll go over my number one, and then I'll keep building that flagpole here in a little bit. We'll get the flagpole, and then we got to start building around the structure. We got to, you know, 
I don't know if I want to, I guess I got to close this off. I would have to build a wall here. You can lock the door. I think if I get a lock, I might be able to lock that door. If not, I'll have to build a wall here. We'll just kind of see what we can do. Make this our little home. All right. Number one, Denzel Washington. Favorite movie is Man on Fire. So Man on Fire basically is where Denzel Washington is, where it's where Denzel Washington is a retired special forces and kind of like really struggling with the, the things and stuff that he's seen. Kind of got some post-traumatic stress going on. And uh, he's pretty much on his own. And his old friend calls him up and said, hey, I need you to be a bodyguard for this family in Mexico, a rich family in Mexico. And he accepts the job. He goes down there and uh, he's kind of watching after the girl, makes sure that she's protected and he develops a relationship with her and becomes like, you know, a fatherly relationship. And uh, they get real close. And then things go wrong. And some bad guys uh, take the little girl. And then uh, Denzel Washington's character is not going to have none of that. So anybody that was involved that had anything to do with this, he's going to pay a visit to him, And, uh, you know, he's, he's going to bring hell with them. You know, so it's very good. It's called Man on Fire. That would be my number one Denzel Washington movie. All right, so let me know a couple of things. Uh, you don't have to do all your 10. Maybe you want to do your top three. Do you have your favorite Denzel Washington movie? Also, let me know, is there any other topics uh, while we do this build and banter? Just kind of relaxing, building and talking. What kind of topics, other things would you like to talk about? And it can be anything. Just like this one is about movies, it doesn't have to be related to Daisy. We're just having fun, relaxing, and chatting away. Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, and get notified.